Welcome back, folks. Tommy O'Brien from TFNN checking out the markets. 8.42 a.m. We got that weekly jobless claims number. We'll jump over to that in a moment. Right now, you're looking at the S&Ps, positive by one point. NASDAQ futures, positive by 67. The Dow, negative by 33. 8.30 a.m. on Thursdays. Every Thursday, we get weekly jobless claims. That number just hitting the tape about 12 minutes ago. The number... 884,000 first time filings for unemployment insurance. The number they were looking for was about 850,000 expected, so a little bit more than the market was expecting. The number I always like to take a look at continuing claims from those filing for at least two weeks rising from the previous week, hitting 13.385 million, an increase of 93,000 from a week ago. An indicator that the strong jobs market improvement through the summer may be tailing off entering the fall. That is the quote over there on CNBC. Not what you want to see, folks. Now, we're getting a big number every single week in terms of almost a million claims for first-time filings on a weekly basis. That is the first time. You're talking about almost 900,000 people filing for unemployment for the first time within the last week, and you also have a continuing claims rising. We need to be decreasing this number. We're looking at 13.385 million right now, an increase from last week. Nonetheless, pretty stark numbers out there, checking out the markets, but the market actually liking what's going on. There's your 8.30 bar. We're looking at 15-minute bars, putting it closer on a five-minute. We'll zoom in on the action on 8.30. We'll zoom it in again. There's your 8.30 volatility. We were trading at about 33.91. You're now seeing the S&Ps rising by about 10 points. We're over where we were overnight, backing things off. You did see a little sell-off in the markets. It really began about 2.30 in the morning. You saw the S&Ps trade from 34.08 down to a low of 33.75. We're now above where we were at 6 a.m., 34.01. Again, those highs that we had at about 2.30 in the morning. We're coming right up to that level right now, 34.08. Dow jumping over. Dow in negative territory. The only major index right now in negative territory. You get the Russell up two, NASDAQ up 70, S&P's up by two as well. The Dow negative by 29 points right now. 20 trading at 27,946. Checking back to some of the stocks that had earnings last night as we covered. Restoration Hardware, they're continuing to charge higher to the tune of almost 20%, folks. We're up to $380. That's a rise of $60 from the close last night of 320. On the reverse side, as we covered, GameStop trading lower in dramatic fashion by about 10%, trading at 663 from a close yesterday of 7 35. Jumping around to commodities, crude oil down 56 cents at 37.49. The gold contract catching a little bit of a bid at $9.40 in the positive at 19.64. And we got the 10 year yield right now, a little bit of lower price and higher yield. The 10 year yield, 0.716% in terms of how it's trading in price, 139.06. The 10 year negative three ticks, the 30 year negative by about 13 ticks. Over in Europe, the DAX is basically flat. The FTSE down about three tenths percent. Over in Asia overnight, you had the Nikkei up by about nine tenths percent. Shanghai negative by about six tenths percent. 